great. It was so good to see you all at our people hangout last week. And those who couldn't make it, I really miss seeing your sweet faces. Um, this actually starts our first full week of true online learning. And our goal for today, and actually this whole week, is to go back and review a healthy human body. So think about everything kind of going on in the world right now. I thought this would be a great topic to review. And I would love to hear from you later today or even this week about ways you want to keep your body healthy. So let's get started. If you will remember the last day we were together, we had good old Nick Nutri. So Nick is back for our review. So your goal today is to listen for ways you can take care of your human body. Take a look at this, boys and girls. What are you looking at? Yes, you're looking inside a human body with all of its many complicated parts. So do you remember the stomach and the intestines? Do you remember the kidneys and the bladder? Today, we're going to review some of these things that we learned about and its network or arrangement of important systems. Let's start with the system we last talked about. This system deals with the words sweat and urine. Do you remember that system? It was my turn, excretory system, your turn. I think I heard you. And who remembers another term or word for sweat? That was perspiration. So I hope that you have tried using some of these terms. We talked about it a few weeks ago with your family or even your friends. This, was a, this I know was a new term we talked about right before we had spring break. Which system is responsible for processing your food into nutrients that your body can use and getting rid of waste that it doesn't need? That was the, my turn, digestive system, your turn, digestive system. So, do you remember the name of the tube that carries food from the mouth to the stomach? You're right, it was my turn, esophagus, your turn. Good job. The esophagus is your food tube. We didn't talk about this next term, but there's another tube right beside of it called the windpipe. It leads to your lungs. Do you remember what travels through your windpipe from your mouth to your lungs? It is my turn, air, your turn, air, you're right. So let's look a little bit more into reviewing the systems or networks in our human body. Look at this picture of our human body. We're all made of bones, which make up a skeleton. The skeleton is part of the skeletal system. Here's another easy one, the muscular system. The skeletal and the muscular system work together to help us move. So right here we have these two working together. And our next one, nerves. Nerves are part of our nervous system. Remember, our nervous system deals with our brain and our spine. It's almost like a highway running through our body. And then we have the circulatory system. My turn, circulatory, your turn, circulatory. Don't confuse the nerves with veins and arteries, the tubes that carry blood through the body. The nervous system and the circulatory system look alike in pictures. That's because blood covers a lot of territory too. We've talked about nutrients and the way they travel through our, your blood to support our body systems. Without blood, these important substances would have no way to nourish our body. So the circulatory system circulates or moves your blood. Let's move on in our review so we can get to what we're listening for today. Remember, we're listening for ways to take care of a healthy human body. Moving on in our review, we have cells, tissues, and organs. You know that each body system performs a separate function and that each system is made up of, my turn, organs, your turn, organs. Organs are made up of tissues and tissues are made up of cells. So from largest to smallest, here's your order, organs, tissues, and cells. Let's think about our skin as an example. This time though, we're gonna move from the smallest part to the largest part. Your skin cells, Let's practice that word. My turn, cells, your turn. Good job. Combine to form skin, my turn, tissue, your turn, tissue. And that combines to form the organ. My turn, organ, your turn. It obviously combines to form your skin. It's so important to keep your cells, your tissues, and your organs 
running smoothly. Therefore, your body will run smoothly. Now let's dive in and talk about what exactly we can do to keep our body running smoothly. Mm. We've talked about the importance of making healthy food choices. In fact, that very last day, we had a very special guest speaker come join us, and she gave us more information on healthy eating. Foods give you energy to grow. They give you energy to breathe, to move, to fight germs, and to heal. Some foods have more nutrients in them than others. At the cafeteria, choose a variety of foods, especially those high in nutrients. Pick the fruit instead of the cookie. Pick the baked potato chips instead of the french fries. Or pick the low-fat milk instead of the milkshake. Balance your daily diet with several servings of grains, fruits, and vegetables, and smaller portions of dairy, meat, and eggs. And so, let's continue to listen for the healthy food choices, because remember, we're listening for what we can do to take care of our body. One healthy food choice is produce. Remember to eat only a few sweets and fats, and don't forget to eat a rainbow of vegetables and fruits. Eating a variety of vegetables and fruits will give your body the vitamins and minerals it needs. The next time you're at the grocery store, ask your parents about different veggies you can see, such as Brussels sprouts, kale, frozen asparagus. See if you can spot fruits that make up the color of the rainbow. Now, Besides eating a well-balanced diet, what are some other ways we can keep our body healthy? Ding, ding, ding! Exercise or staying active can help you maintain a healthy body weight. When you exercise, your body uses energy from the food you eat. The amount of energy that food provides to the human body is measured in the word or term calories. Food labels list the number of calories or the amount of energy in packaged food, telling you how much energy is stored in them. So remember, you should eat enough food each day to provide your body with about the same amount of energy that it uses up during the day. If you eat too much and you don't exercise, your body will store that extra food energy as fat. If you don't eat enough to satisfy your body's needs, your body will use its stored energy and you may lose weight. You are burning energy all the time, even when you're sleeping, but your body uses much more energy to exercise than it does to sleep. So if you weigh about 100 pounds, you would burn about 40 calories just standing for 30 minutes. But if you walk for 30 minutes, you would burn up to 120 calories. You would use up to three times more energy by walking as you would standing still. And now is a really important time to make sure you are getting that exercise in since we're all home a lot more than we used to be. Exercise will keep your heart and lungs working well. It fights off illness and disease and it builds strong bones. Make exercise a daily part of your life. Even if you want to go back and use the animal exercises from last week or the alphabet exercises from the week before, and I know Coach Rasen has been sharing ideas with you guys as well. You can walk or ride your bike instead of getting in the car. You can take the stairs instead of the elevator. You can swim very soon, play soccer, take karate or gymnastics lesson, or even go out and shoot hoops with your buddies. All of these ways are great forms of exercise. Choose what you enjoy and have fun. So just take a moment and think, what have we talked about so far that helps our body stay healthy. And that's right, we've talked about eating right and exercise. Let's move on to another way to keep our body healthy. Keeping clean is another important way of staying healthy. There are many types of germs that make you sick. Bacteria, that tiny one-celled creature that Antoine von Leeuwenhoek studied, are one of the most common types of germs. Bacteria, are everywhere. They're an important part of nature and most bacteria are not your enemies. In fact, many bacteria live in your gut and help you digest your food. But millions more live on your skin and some of them may be harmful. That's why it's important to wash your hands often and well. Wash them throughout the day, especially before eating. 
Besides hand washing, make sure that you clean every other part of your body too. Take frequent showers or bath, shampoo your hair often, and keep your fingernails short and clean. Oh, and don't forget to brush your teeth often to get rid of old food and germs that feed on it. Use floss to help keep your gum healthy and get rid of food that's stuck between your teeth. So let's think back. We've talked about three things now that we can do to keep our body healthy. My turn eating right, your turn. My turn exercise, your turn. Good job, and one more. My turn good hygiene, your turn. Great, let's move on to something that we all probably will laugh about here. Regular potty habits. So regular toilet habits are signs of good health. Most of the time you don't have to think too hard about going to the bathroom. But sometimes your body reacts and lets you know that it might need a little extra care too. So make sure you listen to your body, listen to those nerve signals that sends to your brain, and don't put off using the bathroom when you really need to go. And so, we're gonna move on to one more thing that's really important to keep your body healthy. And that is my turn sleep, your turn. How many of you wake up feeling tired this morning? You know, I know on school days, several of us woke up feeling tired. Hopefully you're getting more rest now that we're home more. Some people might say, hey, did you get up on the wrong side of the bed? And that might be if you wake up feeling tired or grouchy. But really what that means is you didn't get enough rest last night. So listen to this carefully. Most kids your age, seven or eight years old, need 10 to 11 hours of sleep each night. So I know bedtime schedule may be a little off right now and getting up schedule may be off, but go ahead and talk with your parents, talk with your siblings or grandparents, aunts or uncles, about how much sleep you are getting. You need 10 to 11 hours. As you sleep, damaged body cells and tissues are repaired and replaced. So if you're sick, sleep will help speed your recovery and you can return to health. So let's review what we've been listening for today. My turn eating well, your turn. My turn exercising, your turn. My turn keeping clean, your turn. And my turn getting enough rest, your turn, are all good ways to help your millions and billions and trillions of tiny cells work properly. So I know Nick Nutri has loved sharing his wealth of knowledge with you when it comes to health and nutrition. This is one of my favorite topics as well. But remember, your body is yours alone, and you alone have the power to take care of it your whole life. So even though I'm not with you at school and Nick Nutri has just been here on the screen, really take control and take care of yourself, especially over the next few weeks. Now that you know what to do to keep your body in good condition, I hope you'll treat it really well, like one of your favorite machines. And so, We'll sign off right here with Nick Nutri. He says, I'm sure you'll agree that you will never find another machine quite as amazing as your human body. So kiddos, that was our review lesson today. I hope that you have remembered most of it, but if not, I hope that you learned something new today. Here's what I'd like for you to do. This is Monday. Um, I guess if you didn't finish your packet, then you may not be listening to this or I should say your packet for today's work. You may be listening to this a little bit later, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. So when you have the chance to listen to my story, here's my question. My question is, send me a note on Dojo. Make sure you're checking with your parents first on ways you or me or your family can stay healthy. We learned about those today and I want to hear from you and have you recall what you learned today. So if you'll send me a message, uh, we'll say this, we plan on having another Google Meet or Hangout on Wednesday at 1 o'clock. If you don't get a chance to message me on Dojo before then, then this is where we'll pick up and we'll have a conversation about that. I'm also going to not only attach this YouTube link to Dojo, I'm going to attach another YouTube link about what you can do to uh, keep your body healthy, especially during these next few weeks. In addition to that, if you have time this week to read a book on my own about the human body, that would be such a blessing too. So, your goals this week, one more time, I'll review. 
is hopefully you'll have a chance to listen to the story, number one. Number two, respond to this question. What are ways you can stay healthy? What are some things you can do? I would love to hear your response in Dojo, but if not, then hopefully you can meet with us on Wednesday at 1 o'clock for a Google Hangout, and we'll discuss it further. Again, I'll attach another YouTube video on what you can watch and um, learn from on how to stay healthy. And then if you get a chance, you feel free to read a book on my line about this topic. I love you guys. I'm super proud of you all. Miss you so much. I know I say that a lot, but I really mean it. And I love you. So we will see you later this week in a hangout. And then be thinking about your favorite fairy tale because that's what we will review next week. Bye guys, love you.